Hi, my name is Erin and I'm a media mentor at the Poudre River Public Library. In today's tech tip, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Explora database for middle school students. Let's get started. Explora for Middle School is a database that provides research for students at their grade and lexile level. Explora is provided by UPSCO and is a free service offered by the Poudre Library. Explora can be accessed through a school, home, or library internet-enabled device using your library card. Information is provided from encyclopedias, dictionaries, magazines, and newspapers. To get to the Explora database, start at the Poudre Library website at www.poudrelibraries.org. Look for the green tab at the top that says Research. From the Research page, there are two ways to get to the Explora database. The fastest way is to click M on the alphabet hyperlinks. You can also click on the menu list for homework, grade K through 12, and you'll be taken to a list of databases that are designed to help students with research projects. Scroll down to the listing for middle school research EBSCO's Explora. Enter your last name and public library card number to get into the database. This database is designed to be searched several ways. For fast results, there is a search bar at the top to enter keywords. Students can also select from eight main categories that cover arts and literature, biography, business and government, current issues, geography, health, history, science, and math. Look for the More link under each category, and clicking on it will take you to a full list of topics to choose from. At the top of the results page, there will be a topic overview to provide key information about each topic and give students a good starting point. You can click into that link for a full listing. After you've selected a keyword or a topic, a full list of articles will pop up. You can narrow the articles to items that fit your specific project by using the limiters on the left side. You can adjust how recent the result list is by limiting the publication dates. You can select if you want certain types of sources included or excluded, such as biographies, encyclopedias, or magazines. You can also limit the results to a specific lexile range. Article results come in either a PDF or HTML file. Here's an example of a PDF file. On the right side menu, there's options to help students manage their research project. Along with printing and emailing, the article can also be added to Google Classroom and Google Drive. If students are planning to work with several articles and even several different research topics, they can add each article to an Explora folder. There are also options for citations, exporting, and permalinks. Permalinks let students return directly to the article without going through the database steps again. In the HTML file, you have additional options. There is a translation option with over 30 foreign languages. There's also a text-to-speech feature that can read the entire article or just highlighted phrases for students to hear pronunciation. Finally, students have the option to add notes as well as save and print the notes. Explorer results can also be provided via Flipster 
which is an e-magazine service offered by Pooter Library. Flipster results are displayed in a typical magazine format. For students that are doing a lot of research, there's an option to create an EBSCO account and save articles, searches, and notes in folders. Parents and students can work together to create an account. Once the EBSCO account is set up, students can designate different folders for different research topics and organize and save the articles. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how to use the Explora database from Pooter Libraries. To watch more tech tips, check out the Pooter Libraries playlist on YouTube or visit our website at www.pooterlibraries.org.